Well, hello everybody. Well, I got my ASI 1600 back and I am delighted. I just want to show you a new trick I discovered the other day. I, I knew about it, I just hadn't really used it, but I've used it now and I want to show it to you. Actually, I did it last night. I was out imaging last night and it worked like a charm. I'll show you what I did. Anyways, I just got done starting off uh, shooting I, uh, IC2169, it's a reflection nebula in Monceros, and it's time to do a meridian flip here. I could have set and had to do an automatic one, but I, I want to check the focus anyway, so I'm going to do it manually, uh, so bear with me. The first thing I want to do is uh, turn off PhD2 guiding, so I'm not guiding anymore, and now I'm going to go to a star just to check my alignment. And I think I will go to let's get it. Beetlejuice. Let's go to Beetlejuice. And here we go. So the telescope is doing its flip and it's gonna go to Beetlejuice. Okay, so it's uh focused in on Beetlejuice and I'm going to put the Botanoff mask on there. Mask is on him. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna just uh, turn on the button off mask aid just to see if it's see what this says. You press recalc. And man, that's good. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see what it yeah. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Uh, that looks pretty good. Okay, now what do I want to show you? So, my object, as I said before, was IC2169, so I'm going to go to that right now. Now I had to enter, I had to make a custom uh, th uh, thing. I, d I did the, I used Stellarium to get the coordinates. I programmed them in here the other day. And here it is. I'm going to go to it. Okay, so I'm focused in on it, and now I'm going to turn on point craft. That's plate solving. Go in, go to object. There it is. It's okay. Solve. Image solved. Okay, it's all solved. I'm going to sync, and I'm going to press uh, go to the region. And then press go to and exposure started. Exposure finished. Go to plus plus finished. Okay, we're all smiley faces, everything's perfect, and the, the, I, it's hard to see. This is a really uh, dim reflection nebula, uh, in, or dim to see in one exposure. It's right in the center, but there's two other nebula, strong nebula right here. There's actually some more stuff in here, and I want to show those. Now, one thing you can do is you can aim the scope, which I think I've demonstrated before. I'll do it again. Press sync. Aim. And I'm going to aim it down to... Here, for example, this I'm going to put it right on this star. So there's the aim button. I'm going to press go to plus plus, and it's going to move the, uh, the image up a bit. And I'll show you what I want to. What's really neat about this? Exposure started. Exposure finished. Go to plus plus finished. Okay. Perfect. You see what it did? It brought the two nebula in the field of view, and now the main nebula is right off here, and that's still in the field of view. But what, I, what you can do now is you can press store, OK? 
okay and it'll put it into the custom folder the new coordinates and so if you have to go back tomorrow night the night after or next month or whatever all you have to do is press that stored version and it'll go right to that um, right to the new area you saved that's what this one is down here I actually did it last night I just wanted to redo it for you just so you can see what it looks like well, hello there I'm back it's actually the next day I realized last night I did not show you one other thing that I wanted to show you so I'm gonna do it now real quickly you'll notice this is my custom window and the custom window is very cluttered it has lots of stuff in there so it's wonder how you how quickly you can find an object what you can do is you can highlight the one you you're working on and press add into to list and it was telling me it's already there because I already had it there and so it created another one and this is my to-do list there's hardly anything in it and there is the two IC 2169s and I don't need both of them so I'm going to delete one of them Let's come down here press delete there now I just got one in there this other one you'll see in here this is NGC 2903 that's a galaxy I'm also working on when this object goes behind some trees this object this galaxy comes out and I can just easily go over to it anyways I hope you found this useful and I will see you next time we'll see you later